Bingham University is a conventional university established by the Evangelical Church Winning All, EQUA, in 2005 and was conceived on the ruins of public universities in Nigeria. Its founding fathers, visionaries within the various EQUA executive councils, as well as academics of EQUA extraction, looked back to the golden age of mission education with its focus, purposefulness, and high quality. The founding fathers felt that for people to really understand what Christianity is all about and what it meant to understand Christ dying for us, for our sins, you really have to be able to read and write. And in that process, right from the beginning, they started uh, fundamental literacy training for the first converts so that they will be able on their own to read the Holy Scripture, the Holy Bible, understand it, and where they have questions, they will be able to ask questions. And from that very beginning, it moved on to education and educating most of the people. And that's why you will find out that wherever SIM move, they move with establishing schools, dispensary, and then conversion. Because you have to win the heart of the people to be able to get them closer to you, to listen and understand you. It was the desire for meeting the soaring need for not only quality secular education, but education that recognizes and integrates the moral and spiritual values on which the Christian faith is founded, which fueled its establishment. The university has a staff strength of 700, comprising of 284 teaching staff and 416 non-teaching staff, with students' population of about 3,000. The vision of the university is to be a world-class conventional university in a Christ-centered environment. The mission of the university is to produce graduates that have both knowledge and skills for self-reliance in the fear of Christ. Because of the orientation of trying to become a world-class university, we are trying to emphasize skills-based learning and also education that is unique. For example, we're now running a Bachelor of Science Entrepreneurship Studies. We are hoping to mount on stream programs in furniture design, textile and fashion design. But we're now running a master's degree in election management, in cyber security and digital forensics, and also postgraduate programs in digital media communication. All these are showing our university in a new light. We are now pointing to the fact that there's need to have programs that can put food on your table and programs that can have meaning and impact on the society. Bingham University has had four vice chancellors since inception. The pioneer vice chancellor was Professor Aaron Ghana of blessed memory from 2006 to 2007. He was succeeded by Professor Felix I. Anjorin, also of blessed memory, from 2007 to 2013. The third Vice-Chancellor was Professor Leonard Kersim Foy, from 2013 to 2017. While the fourth Vice-Chancellor is Professor William Barnabas Curix, OFR, 2018 onward. College of Medicine and Health Sciences the university has as its flagship program the bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery. With full accreditation from both the National Universities Commission, NUC, and the Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, MDCN. In order to improve uh, being a university and raise it to a world-class standard university, uh, first and foremost, we are paying close attention to the flagship uh, uh, department or faculty of the university, which is, of course, uh, medicine, uh, faculty uh, of medicine. And we are so grateful with the progress, rapid progress that we are making there. We've been able to get an international accreditation for uh, the faculty, and we are glad that. Uh, that our students that are studying medicine 
can actually sit international exams uh, from here uh, and once qualified they can practice in the UK and most of the uh, European countries uh, there. The College of Medicine and Health Sciences also runs the BSc Anatomy and Physiology programs under the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences. The College of Medicine is located at the Bingham University Teaching Hospital in Jos, about three hours away from the main campus where clinical training of medical students takes place, beginning from 400 level after a student must have passed the second MB professional examination under the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences which is located at the main campus in Karo. Bingham University College of Medicine has been listed in the World Directory of Medical Schools and the General Medical Council of the United Kingdom. Undergraduate programs. The university runs bachelor degree programs in the following areas. BSc Architecture, BSc Estate Management, BSc Environmental Management, BSc Quantity Survey, BSc Public Health, BMLS, Medical Laboratory Science, BSc Accounting, BSc Business Administration, B Farm Bachelor of Pharmacy, BNSC Nursing, BSc Mass Communication, Bachelor of Law LLB, and many others. Postgraduate programs. The School of Postgraduate Studies began operations in the 2017-2018 academic session and has grown to have the following programs: Masters of Public Health (MPH), Master of Science in Accounting and Finance (MSc). Master of Business Administration, MBA, Master of Science in Human Resource Management, MSc, Master of Election Management, MEM, Master of Legislative Drafting, MLD, Master of Cybersecurity and Digital Forensics, MC, SDF, and many others. In addition to the regular degree programs, the university offers pre-degree programs which qualify candidates for admission into degree programs of the university scholarships. In its quest to improve access to education, the university, under the leadership of the Vice-Chancellor, Professor William Barnabas Curix, OFR, has graciously introduced the following scholarship schemes. 1. 10% discount for all EQUA students. 2. 20% discount for children of EQUA pastors to a maximum of 4 children. 3. 30% rebate for children of EQUA executive members while in office. 4. 40% for indigent students. A special scholarship scheme was also introduced, which reduces fees charged on Bachelor of Science degrees in Microbiology and Biochemistry from 751,250 Naira to 600,000 Naira, while Mathematics and Statistics, Industrial Physics, Industrial Chemistry and English from 751,250,000 Naira to 400,000 Naira. Our scholarship program ensures that children that are less endowed are able to come to the university. And we have different tiers of scholarships that we award to the students. The, the discounts, is, it comes in form of discounts of total fees that are paid by students. The one that is of interest, I'm sure, is, is the Indigent Student Scholarship where 40% of discount is granted to indigent children. Well, by our definition, an indigent child is a child that is an orphan, or a child whose both parents are retired and are not working. We think this is a way of opening up the access space to many children. Consultancy Unit Bingham University currently runs professional short-term courses under the Consultancy Services Unit, Entrepreneurship Research Development Center, ERDC. The university also runs an Entrepreneurial Research Development Center for Skills Acquisition, Sankley Research Center. Bingham University runs a world-class research center known as the Sankley Research Center, involved in tuberculosis research. The Zankley Research Center is a well-furnished tuberculosis research laboratory with state-of-the-art equipment with the ability to perform TB diagnosis. The center has a staff strength of 15 personnel under the leadership of Dr. John S. Bimba, who is the acting director. I'm an epidemiologist, public health 
practitioner that is working here in Zanklin Research Center as the acting director of the center. I assumed this last year um, following a pioneering work uh, that started with Professor Lovett Lawson, who was the pioneer director of this center, and they established this center with um, Professor Louis Quivers of Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. They have been in partnership in this country for the past 15 years, and the, together they have achieved a lot of um, things for this country and in the field of tropical medicine in Nigeria. But specifically, the area in which we work here is in TB, that's tuberculosis, because it's one of the tropical diseases that is plaguing countries like Nigeria. So we actually pioneer quite a number of things, especially in evaluating diagnostic platform. The Zanklin Research Center was one of the centers that pioneered the, they brought the first gene expert machine, which has revolutionized the diagnosis of TB by, especially in Nigeria, it helped inform policy in such a way that in the country now, um, gene expert is used as the first, you know, diagnosis for TB in the country where there is no uh, center for maybe um, to do microscopy. We, but if the center have access to gene expert machine, they can be able to go ahead. So gene expert is used in the country to make diagnosis of TB. The research center currently provides clinical diagnostic testing services for patients suspected to have tuberculosis and bacteremia, including typhoid fever, in accordance with the principles of good clinical laboratory practice. The laboratory conducts research in the areas of infectious diseases and enjoys collaboration with reputable national and international institutions, including the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, LSTM. The centre now partners with the Federal Ministry of Health in research on tuberculosis. The centre was the first to have a laboratory for diagnosis of drug-resistant tuberculosis DRTB, in Nigeria and became the laboratory used by the National TB and Leprosy Control Program NTBLCP for the diagnosis of DRTB within central states of Nigeria using solid and liquid culture. Sankli Research Centre currently runs two research grants in collaboration with the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, LSTM. These include 1. The European and Developing Countries Clinical Trials Partnership, EDCTP. This is tagged a one-stop shop for the same-day diagnosis and management of TB and HIV. 2. Tuberculosis Research Wave 5 titled Increasing TB Detection and Treatment of the Poor Population by Engaging Patent Medicine Vendors in Nigeria PMVs. Furthermore, as a result of the Memorandum of Understanding the Centre signed with the Institute of Human Virology Nigeria IHVN, the centre is currently being used as a training facility for laboratory personnel on culture gene expert and microscopy of Nasarawa State Health Staff. The center also avails its laboratory to local and international masters and PhD students for their bench work. The center has the overall goal to develop into a center of excellence for research on tropical diseases in the West African subregion. Health Center The university runs a medical center which provides a 24-hour service to staff and students. The center is also open to patients from the neighboring communities and beyond. Collaborations The university has signed an MOU for collaborations with Sumy State University, Ukraine in the areas of academic mobility and academic staff exchange and is in discussions with the University of Wolverhampton, UK for collaborations. We are working in collaboration with other institutions at home in Nigeria and abroad. As are today, we have a memorandum of understanding with some institutions in the US in the UK, Ukraine, and we are working forward to look at other partners that we will work with. And we want to see how African Development Bank or the United Nations Organization or African Union or ECOWAS, all the federal government 
and partner with us in some of the programs and how we can advance also in our particularly our flagship program the, uh, the medical uh, courses chaplaincy unit being a Christian faith-based university, Bingham University runs a chaplaincy unit where spiritual matters concerning staff and students are taken care of. The unit drives the core values of what the university stands for. Bingham University operates in a serene environment situated at Kilometer 26 Abuja Kefi Expressway, Kodape Karo, Nasarawa State of Nigeria. Other facilities in the university include Information Communication Technology Center, ICT Center, Health Center, Shopping Complex, Cafeteria, Students' Hostels and Lecture Halls, among others. Without a doubt, Bingham University is marching forward in becoming a world-class conventional university in line with the vision of its founding fathers.